Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are doing a full case break of 2017-18 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. Pick your team number six from jazbeeshobbyland.com on very lucky Friday the 13th. Good luck to everybody here. Thanks for getting into the break. Shane with that last spot mojo, Suns. Part, and this break is also part of our playoff promo, or NBA playoff promo. All the details, of course, are on jazbeeshobbyland.com. There's David, David Shaw in the house. Remember, if you bought a team in this break, you get double entries in this promo. Once again, details on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So we've got one more Pick Your Team case left. In fact, that last Pick Your Team on jazbeeshobbyland.com, that is our last case of Optic Basketball, which is fantastic. So a lot of great hits in there, so be sure to check it out. This is Pick Your Team 6. Good luck, everybody. So this break will take about an hour, so relax, get settled in, get comfortable. Playoffs, playoffs, NBA playoffs starting tomorrow. I am very excited about the NBA playoffs. I think there's a lot of interesting storylines. You know what's great? At the beginning of the season, well, let's think back to towards the end of last summer, everyone's saying, listen, it's inevitable. It'll just be Warriors and Cavs again. But is it going to be Warriors and Cavs again? I don't think so. I think there's a good chance that neither team will get to the finals this year. It's hard. It's hard to do that, to, to take a team. And going to go to the finals multiple years in a row, it's just the process is grueling. You know, there's a lot of luck involved. A lot of, a lot of the, the team that usually stays healthiest is generally the strong. There's a lot of that going on. So long seven game series on each round. So you know, anything can happen. It's a grind. I don't know if it's going to be the Warriors and and, and Cavs in the finals like everyone thought it was going to be last year. Uh, yeah, this break is brought to you by Keurig, Bengals Pride. Mm, Keurig. Thanks, Keurig. There's Harrison Barnes. Sponsor is Keurig. I'll talk you up the entire break. There's Al Farouk Aminu, orange. For the Trailblazers out of 199. And our first autograph is rated rookie Wayne Selden Jr. for the Grizz. Ricky Buffalo with the Grizzlies. We'll set that right there. Just drop the schedule in the chat again, just so people are reminded of what we have on tap tonight. All right, Ellie's here. She wants she wants some bucks. There's Jonathan Isaac, hollow rated rookie. So like, these are the regular ones. The hollow ones we'll set aside because they've got some uh, nice value there for the rated rookie. There's Marcin Gortat, and there is Zach Levine. The Gortat for the Wizards. You're a wizard, David. How did, I, how did I get a little bit of fuzz in there? Let's get that out of the way. All right, there you go. 1999, that's Prince. There's the rated rookie, Hollow, for the Magic. Orlando Magic, Ricky Buffalo with that. Orlando Magic getting, getting rid of their coach just after, just after two seasons. Yusuf Nurkic, Blue. 
15 out of 49. I think this, the way he's been playing this year, might be the sleeper team out of the West. That goes to Karen and the Trailblazers. There's J.J. Barea, lime green. You put the lime in the coconut. For the Mavs, that goes to Kurt. 105 out of 175. Uh, do vet base hollows ship? Yes, they do. All right, so there's your hit. We'll top load these before they get sent out. And onwards to the next box. Oh, nice, Brad. Yeah, that, that wooden box for those baseballs are pretty cool, right? All right, next one. Now, I asked this question earlier. did not get too many responses, but maybe I'll get responses in this sort of longer break. I think there's more people in the room, too. Who is your, uh, your underrated team? I think David Shaw might have answered this earlier. But who is your underrated team? in the playoffs. We'll start with that. Underrated team in the playoffs. Team going in that no one's really talking about, not getting hyped up as much, but could be sneaky good. Probably a lower seeded team. Maybe a five or six. Maybe a seven seed. Patrick thinks the Cavs are underrated. I don't think any team with LeBron James can be underrated. Is that's Madison says that. Do you think the Cavs are being underrated? I think the Cavs are being rated just fine. It's hard to underrate a team. You think people are underestimating LeBron James? Maybe. That's interesting. Maybe they are. Maybe people are like, oh, a lot of drama. Uh, Ty, Ty Lu, you know, Larry Nance. And uh, Larry Nance is not in the, you know, hasn't been in on, on a playoff, in a playoff series before. Jordan Clarkson hasn't been in a playoff series before. LeBron James played a lot of minutes, but. Um, oh, no, Vanilla, we're not. I'll, I'll add more later tonight. Yeah, so stuff like this vet hollow right here, Justice Winslow hollow, that that will ship, in case you're wondering. There's Dwayne Bacon, hollow, rated rookie, and lime green, Vucevic. Jeff Dorlach -like saying Timberwolves underrated. Madison agreeing, Timberwolves or Blazers. I agree with the Blazers. I think the Blazers are underrated. West Coast team, not a lot of not a lot of people see them play on a regular basis. Ah, there's Dwayne Bacon again, rated rookie. Charlotte, Ricky Buffalo, nice. And there's the hollow edition of Dwayne Bacon again, second one. There's Sterling Brown, red, rated rookie. There's Grant Hill Red, All-Stars, Pist uh, Pistons Edition, which will go to Chris Newton, 25 out of 99. For Chris, Milwaukee Bucks, that's for Ellie. She gets the Sterling Brown, 53 out of 99. Lime Green, Willie Hernan Gomez. That is 150 out of 175 for the Knicks. That'll be for Ricky. Devin Booker, orange, for Shane and the Suns. 36 out of 199. I like when the parallel color matches the colors of the team. Devin Booker, give that man some help. Come on, Suns. 
There's Bill Russell, nice, for the Celtics. Etwan Moore and Stanley Johnson. Yeah, I do I do think the I agree that the Blazers, I feel like, are a little underrated. I think the Blazers kind of get the same sort of the same sort of criticism that the Raptors get, right? In my opinion. You know, like the, they'll, they'll be like, oh yeah, Blazers, they always look good. You got Dame, you got C you know, you got all these guys. You know, they run, you know, Rip City and all that. But then you're just like, then they get to the playoffs and they kind of they kind of whimper out of the playoffs. P Raptors have been getting that criticism lately too. They look good in the regular season, on paper they've got a good team, but then in the playoffs they just don't quite put it all together. Um, close but no cigar, you know that sort of stuff. They're never taking that next step. I think this is the year that the Blazers can do that. Blazers are the third seed, Madison. So I think I think this is the year the Blazers uh, this is the year the Blazers can 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 maybe surprise a couple teams, you know. I think they could definitely beat the Pelicans. I think they will beat the Pelicans. And I think they've got a good chance of beating whoever comes out of that Warriors Spurs series. Because that's who they'll face. And then in the conference finals it'll be what, the Rockets or Thunder? I think the Blazers could take I think the Blazers could take the Thunder. The Rockets will be a tough challenge. So I think the Blazers could put it all together. They could put it all together. They could surprise some people. You know, they've got they've got Yusuf Nurkic in the front court. I like him. They've got CJ McCollum and Damian Lillard in the back court. So they got some scorers back there. So I think it's good. So it's a, it's a it's a good balance, you know. And there's always like a role. You, you always need like a random role player to kind of come out of nowhere and just ball out during like a series. So you need someone like that too. If we're looking out for the hobby, Trailblazers. Why? If you're looking out for the hobby, you definitely want uh, Zach Collins of the Trailblazers to put in some minutes. Uh, Patrick thinks that the Wizards are underrated. There's Luke Kennard for the Pistons. There's Giannis. Yeah, are the Wizards underrated? 89 out of 99. They could be. They got John Wall back. That's good. Any guesses on their redemption here? There's Nicola Batum. Jabari Parker, he's healthy. He's ready to go. That could be interesting. Batum for Charlotte, for Ricky, 35 out of 49. There's Damian Lillard. Walt Frazier, hollow. Alec Burks, Utah Jazz for EA, orange. 134 out of 199. There's Clyde the Glide Drexler, 26 out of 99. Retro, I love this retro series. Blazers, that'll be for Karen. There you go, Karen. Um, some trivia, some, some people might have seen this article on ESPN. In, since seeding began, which I think was the early 80s or late 70s, since seeding began, only one team was seeded fourth or lower, got to the NBA Finals and won. Got to the NBA Finals and won. That team, the 1995, 94-95 Houston Rockets with Hakeem the Dream, Olajuwon, and Clyde Drexler. They beat, uh, they beat a young Shaquille O'Neal and Penny Hardaway in the Finals. And we got, nice, Rated Rookie Signatures, Hollow, Dennis Smith Jr. for Kurt, and the Dallas Mavericks. Nice. Uh, 
Nice one for the Mavs. William L. in the house. What up, William? And he's saying Ed Davis is his key bench player for the Blazers. With him playing well, Collins is freed up to gamble. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, William, I don't know if you if you heard this part of the show, but I put a couple pennies on the on the Trailblazers to not only win the Western Conference, but the whole damn thing. They're a long shot, but I, 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 I believe that they had a little bit of value to put a little bit on. Put up put down a little to win a lot. So they're my they're they're my long shot favorite. Right? Does that make sense? Long shot favorite? Among the long shots, they're my favorites. Oh, you heard it. You love it. You love the pick. Yeah, I, th I think there's, in terms of, from a wagering, from a gaming perspective, I think there is there is value there. They're not super, they're not a super long shot. You know, it's not like I'm trying to pick, I'm not trying to make the case for, like, uh, the, the, the Pacers to win the whole thing or the, you know what I mean? But I, th I think that was a, that was the safest among the longer shots. That. Oh, no worries, Gold Rush. Nice Dan Smith Jr. Obviously, he's not busy anymore. So he's in the off season now. So I think I think he'll have time to sign those cards. Blazers just have to put it all together. My other longer shot pick um, to win it all were the Sixers. The Sixers, interestingly, did not have very high value in terms of winning the uh, in terms of winning the the East. Like so, so they're they're kind of decent odds, decent favorites to win to win the East. But but then they're, they they think that they're just gonna fall to, to anybody who comes out of the West. My other longer shot, Brewer Brewers? No, not the Milwaukee Brewers. They won't be in the NBA Finals. Um, to win the East, Bucks. It's my long shot pick for the East. All right, there's John Collins for the Hawks. Pink Velocity. That'll go to Brindley and Madison. 69 out of 79. Frank Mason the third is your autograph. Nice. Sacramento Kings. Ricky Buffalo. Rated rookie auto. Frank Mason the third. 21 out of 49. I think the Kings are quietly building a nice team after all those rough years. There's De'Aaron Fox, the rookies. Yeah, that's the thing with the with, with the Rockets, right? Everyone's looking at the Rockets, going, you know, Williams saying, "I think Houston will break through this year," but D'Antoni, Harden, Chris Paul all have histories of playoff disappointment. They haven't, yeah, they haven't really put it all together. There's Zach Collins, so this could be a somebody in the playoffs, Karen. 103 out of 175. Keep an eye out on that guy. Playoffs where stars are born. Kobe, all stars, lime green for the Lakers, and there's poor Kyrie Irving. One sixty-six out of one ninety-nine for Kyrie and the Celtics. Will Bartle and the lime green. Kobe one hundred five out of one seventy-five for the Lakers. That'll be for Ricky. All right. Next up. Oh, uh, thanks, Ed Ramos. Appreciate that. Williams saying I'd love to see the Bucks go far, but they they are inconsistent. Yeah, the the I like the, I mean, you have to like Giannis Antetokounmpo, a healthy Jabari Parker, and the other pieces they have on their team. What you don't like 
which is what's necessary in the playoffs, I think, is good coaching. You know, it's good coaching. They Remember, they fired Jason Kidd in the middle of the season to, to not too much drama, but a little bit of drama. And so they've been working with the interim coach for the rest of for the, for the duration of the season. Now, they've played okay, but I think when you start to face, like, if you're facing Brad Stevens on the Celtics, right? Celtics are banged up, and just on raw talent alone, the Bucks could win. But if they get out coached, you're talking interim coach, interim coach versus someone like Brad Stevens. Brad Stevens, right? Brad Stevens on the Celtics, which who is regarded as one of the best coaches in the NBA, best young coaches in the NBA at least, if not one of the best coaches NBA in general. So that that that'll be that'll be something to kind of put in the back of your head. Yang saying that Blazers, yeah, Blazers are the long shot. If Damian Lillard stays hot throughout the playoffs, the Blazers can take it. I think so too. But William was saying earlier he's right about the uh, about the about the fortunes of Mike D'Antoni, James Harden, and Chris Paul. Chris Paul, I always feel like, always gets gets some sort of unfortunate injury. I think there's like a funny stat. Someone ha may have to confirm this, or unless I'm just making it up in my head. That in all the years that Chris Paul and, and, and Blake Griffin have been together on the Clippers, they've only been healthy together maybe like once in their duration here in L.A., which is kind of crazy. They've never had a full-strength squad going into the playoffs, like i.e. both Chris Paul and Blake Griffin. Box. Good luck, everybody. We got Orange Markeith Morris. One fifty two out of one ninety nine for the Wizard. You're a Wizard, David. There's Giannis. Wishful thinking. There's Darren Collison for the Pacers. John Wall for the Wizards. Red, All-Stars for David. 48 out of 99. And Darren Collison for the Pacers. 13 out of 99. Pacers facing the Cavs. I think the Pacers are going to give the Cavs some trouble. Jason Tatum, autograph. Scared money don't make money, Will Bartle. He picked up the Celtics late. And there's Jason Tatum. Without Kyrie, they're going to rely on this guy, right, for the most part in the playoffs. If he balls out, I mean, he's already a good value on a secondary market anyway. But playoffs, playoffs can make legends. There's Dame. Poor Gordon Hayward. Man, imagine if they had a full strength team. That the Celtics would be scary if they had if they had Gordon Hayward bedded in for the entire season, you know what I mean? And then a healthy Kyrie. There's Damian Lillard, 160 out of 175. So nice box there. Nice Jason Tatum. Yeah, Pacers could spoil. Well, the thing, what I want to see more, I've not seen a lot of Victor Oladipo play. And that's been the story for the Pacers. Victor Oladipo on the Pacer, he bounced around a couple teams. Has, I don't know what, something clicked in his head. Something clicked. Maybe it's this team that he's around. Maybe it's just individually something clicked. But something clicked, and he's playing incredible basketball all season long. Like his turnaround from what he was before to what he is now has been absolutely huge. So I, I, I think it'd be nice for him to be on the national stage. Dust off your Victor Oladipo rookie cards from like a couple years ago, two or three years ago. Dust those off. I, I agree with you. Yang, Yang is saying, uh, I, I don't know what it is, but sometimes I like watching the Blazers play. To me, they're another exciting team to watch. 
other than the Warriors. I agree with you. I, I think they play a fun style of basketball. I mean, who doesn't like Damian Lillard just like, but see, Damian Lillard, the, the thing with him is that it's not like, I mean, he plays, he gets a lot of touches, you know what I mean? He's going to get his shots, but it never feels like he's like playing hero ball, you know what I mean? It feels like there is sort of a method to his his his, his madness. Like he can, he knows when he needs to take over a game, late in the fourth quarter or something like that. But it's not all that, you know what I mean? Because CJ McCollum will get his. You know, if they want to slow the game down, they could pound it into Yusef Nurkic. They'll play defense, you know. So, so I, I that's I like their balance. Now, whether it's enough to beat the tough West. That remains to be seen, you know, but. Tice, what's going on, Tice? Tice in the house. Um, what's their, William, William's a Blazers fan. What's their coaching situation? I don't, I don't think I know much about their coach. See, because that might be the, that might be the difference maker. Is he's the kind of man that could, that could motivate and influence a team. Get them to stay together, stay focused, you know, keep doing what they've done throughout the season. There's Drew Holiday. I think the Pelicans are going to run out of gas against the Blazers in a seven-game series. It's just been Drew Holiday and Anthony Davis doing it all. Terrence Ferguson for OKC. I think this team it looks great on paper, but... Little some inconsistency there too. They got to pull things together too. If they could, I mean, the, that's what makes the West great. Fox in the box, De'Aaron Fox, Orange, and speaking of the Trailblazers, Zach Collins. There you go, Karen with the Trailblazers. This is who you're looking out for, Karen. You want to see Zach Collins putting in some minutes, making some things happen. A legend can be born right there. NBA playoffs where where legends are born. There's Terrence Ferguson again, the orange rated rookie for the Kings. That'll be for Ricky. Nice De'Aaron Fox out of one ninety nine. Justice is served to the Miami Heat. Josh Jackson, the rookies, blue. Nice. That'll go to Shane and the Suns. I'm sure this will cover a good chunk of the spot. 20 out of 49. Those rookies cards are kind of rare. Uh, or not as common as like the rated rookies, of course. Dylan with Justice Winslow out of 175. And there you go. Oh, I see. So it, it, Terry Stotts is the coach for uh, for the Trailblazers. William saying came out of Oklahoma as a Houston late pick. Spent a few years in a, a CBA C Canadian basketball in the hometown. Then uh, played for George Carl. Oh, playing for George Carl. Oh, okay. Eventually started coaching with George Carl, and then got head coaching gigs in Milwaukee and then Atlanta. And then Tice is saying Scotts came over. Scott Scotts Scotts came over in thirteen or fourteen, something like that. All right. All right, so it sounds like he's got some good coaching pedigree. That's important in the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Continental Basketball Association. Oh, coaching across a seven-game series, coaching is really, really important. That's why that Warrior Spur series could be pretty good, you know. 
that'll be a good battle. And that's why, even though the Celtics are banged up, the Bucks rolling with an interim coach, that might that might prove to be be the crucial and costly difference. All right. Next box. Good luck, everybody. We got Red Rudy Gay for the Spurs. We got Nicola Batum Orange. And another redemption. Any guesses on this redemption? For bragging rights, Hornets, Ricky Buffalo with the Nicola Batum Orange. 52 out of 199. Rudy Gay for the Spurs, red. 12 out of 99. Sundarius Thornwell for the Clippers, hollow. He's been getting some decent minutes towards the end of the end of the season. Clippers played admirably down the stretch. That is for Madison. There's the glove. There's Lime Green, Tobias Harris. Pistons edition. That'll go to Chris Newton. 31 out of 175. Uh, Gold Rush guessing another Dennis Smith. Looking for his second one. David Shaw guessing a Justin Patton. Patrick guessing a Dan Smith Jr. or a Josh Bell. Tice says redemption is Joe P. Oh, he'll be around. The bowling night for him, Tice. He'll be around a little bit later. It's going to be... Bam. Oh, of course. Nobody guessed Gershon Yabuselli. Uh, Celtics, I think. Yabuselli is a Celtic. I don't. Is he going to play in the playoffs? I don't think he's going to be in the playoffs. But there you go. That goes to uh, Will Bartle on the Celtics. All right. There you go, Will. Next box, good luck. Uh, we talked underrated teams a little bit. Who are some overrated teams? I think we, we kind of touched upon it. I think some people, could the Rockets be overrated? Everyone looks at how, how good they are, but William did bring up, hey, Mike D'Antoni, James Harden, Chris Paul, you know, maybe... You know, everyone loved him in the regular season. They, they destroyed the regular season, but the playoffs has always been a bit of a, a stone, a pebble in their shoe. An irritant. They never, they never quite seem to get over that, that hump. Are the Rockets overrated, maybe? Maybe, just because they were just so incredibly good in the regular season. They could be a little overrated. Are the Sixers overrated? Because down the stretch, they... They couldn't lose. Couldn't lose. But they were playing some pretty easy competition for the last few weeks of the season. So maybe they go into things overrated. Tice thinks the Cavs are overrated. Madden says the Thunder are overrated. What's up, Robert? I would lean, not, I'm not fully committed to this, but I would lean Rockets being a little overrated. I think some people are, 
some people might be overrating the Spurs a little bit. I think they could give the Warriors a run for their money, but they might be overrating the Spurs a little bit. Brad says Warriors over a lot. Well, a lot of talk about the Warriors, so yeah, they could be a little bit overrated. Yeah, I like Philadelphia too. I would like to open this, be able to open this pack as well. I like Philadelphia too, but I, I think just the youth, just the inexperience may be what kind of gets them in the end. It's a little over halfway there on this break, folks. We're almost done. Kawhi would be would be a big thing you need. Robert Covington. 147 out of 199 for the Sixers. Will I get baseball? Tribute is already in the store. So if that sells out, yes, I'll break it tonight, if that's what you were asking. Caleb Swanigan. Thomas Bryant, hollow, rated rookie. And okay time with the Lakers. Ricky Buffalo with the Lakers. Caleb Swanigan, 49 out of 79. Pink Velocity for Karen. And there's Goran Dragic for the Heat, 93 out of 199 for Dylan. Oh, it, it is sold out? Yeah, I break from 3 o'clock Pacific to 11 o'clock Pacific. So anytime I have in between there, we'll do those breaks. Uh, yeah, it is sold out. Excellent. So that'll actually happen right after this. Let me drop the schedule in the chat. And I think that flawless football actually has three teams left now. So I think we're actually, I think we're actually pretty uh, spot on on the schedule, folks. So take a look at that in the chat. I'll give you an idea when those breaks will start. Those are estimated times. Sometimes we get sidetracked on random things. So <laughs> if there's an interesting topic that kind of gets us. That might sidetrack us. If, if Otani comes up to bat, we may have to hold for that. Champ is here, Sean Marion. 19 out of 49. This Mavs team, William? William was talking about how uh, the Blazers coach had won a chip as a coach for the Mavs. There's Lonzo. Up and down season for him, but good, good. And then there's Ojalei. I think you've got all the. I think you got all the uh, the Celtics rookies. Will you got Tatum, Yabusele, and Ojulei. There's Josh Jackson for Shane and the Suns. All these parallels, Shane, could all add up to get you pretty close to covering that spot, which is great. I wish this was a hollow, but this rookies one is still pretty nice for the Lakers as well. Good luck, everybody. Now we'll get to, uh, there are four games tomorrow on Saturday, starting at 3 o'clock Pacific. Spurs, Warriors are the first game. Then Wizards and Raptors will start shortly after that. Miami Heat, Sixers will start after that. And then the final, the late game will be the Pelicans and Trailblazers at, um, at, at 7.30 Pacific. The first game starts at noon Pacific, by the way. These are those were East Coast times, but we're in LA, so we go we go by West Coast time here.
So we'll be, I'm here for one more night. We, we break Tuesday through Saturday, ladies and gentlemen, if you're new here. We break Tuesday through Saturday. So we will be here tomorrow watching the basketball games, discussing the games, breaking more basketball, maybe giving away a little money tomorrow if we fill up all those breaks. And we'll, send, and we'll kick off the, the basketball season in style and with big hits tomorrow, our last night of the week. So it'll be a lot of fun. Cancel your plans. Hang out with Jaspies. All right. Good luck, everybody. Almost done. There's Draymond. Green. Lime green parallel. I like when the parallel matches the name of the player. At 175 for the Warriors. James with that one. We got Jabari Parker orange for the Milwaukee Bucks. That'll go to Ellie. 61 out of 199. He's healthy, right? Com completely? There were some bucks right there too, Ellie. There's Chris Middleton. Neon green. Also for Ellie out of 175. And there is Sterling Brown, rated rookie autograph. Sterling Brown for Ellie. So nice, a few bucks. A few young bucks for Ellie. There you go. There's the hollow rated rookie for Gershon. There's Draymond again, hollow edition. That will ship. There's Bam, Adebayo, rated rookie, red. And Bobby Portis at the end. There you go. Three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. 72 out of 99 for the Heat on that one. Dylan with the Heat. Next box. Good luck. All right. So now that we've kind of discussed the games a bit broadly, maybe we could get to the nitty gritty. For entertainment purposes only, we do enjoy talking about uh, the spreads, the money lines, point totals. I actually hate point totals. But for fun, for entertainment, we like to discuss that. Because I think it kind of sees what, what, what Las Vegas thinks about, about these matchups. Um, the spread, Spurs Warriors, is eight. Who do you take? If the Warriors are minus eight. Spurs are plus eight. Game one of the series, the early game, 12 o'clock Pacific, 3 o'clock Eastern. You're welcome, Ellie. Do you lay the points with the Warriors? Warriors are at home. The Spurs don't do as well on the road, I think. I'll have to look all that stuff up, but well, you'll know what I picked by tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe you pass on that game. Goldrest says you'd lay the points, go with Warriors. Yeah. See, the money line isn't very good here, too. There's no value here. You know, Spurs are too much of a long shot to win straight up. The Warriors are too, too much of a favorite. Minus 370. But, yeah, I think you got to... I think this opening game, if you had to, I don't like it, but if you had to, you gotta gotta go minus eight with the Warriors at home. Just too good. Uh, same spread. Uh, same spread for the. I don't know. You might be able to put the Warriors in a teaser or something, or the Spurs in a teaser. That might that could be interesting. Um, Wizards. Same spread. Wizards-Raptors, minus 8 
for the Raptors, so which means plus eight for the uh, Wizards. There's Mike Conley for the Grizz. Another redemption. Any guesses on that? And a hollow for the Rockets. For Zhu Ki. Mike Conley for the Grizz for Ricky. 10 out of 49. There's D'Lo, D'Angelo Russell, Lime Green for the Nets. That'll be for Ricky. 106 out of 175. David Shaw guessing Patton again. And the guess is Malik Monk. Uh, Utah Jazz are playing the Oklahoma City Thunder. Utah Jazz are the 5 seed. Thunder are the 4 seed. So they, were, they finished right in the middle of the pack. Patrick. Gold Rush, Kurt would take the uh, Raptors, minus eight. I think I would, too. I feel a little bit more confident about that than the Warriors. Raptors, just they're great at home. Ellie says she'd go with the Warriors unless, it, unless that line pushes to double digits. I agree. So maybe, maybe you think, if you're playing a teaser, maybe you think, oh, maybe if I get a few extra points with the Spurs, you know, maybe that would, that could be... A fun thing. 56 out of 199, Thomas Bryant for the Lakers. And the redemption is... Jordan Bell. Someone gets Jordan Bell a lot earlier, but... Rated rookie signatures Jordan Bell for the Golden State Warriors. James. All right, two more boxes to go. Good luck. Oh, it's Patrick. There you go. Yeah, he was. Somebody mentioned Jordan Bell earlier, a couple of redemptions ago. You should you should have guessed him again, Patrick. Could have had bragging rights, sorcery rights. All right, uh, the third of four Saturday games. We've got Miami Heat. And the 76ers, this one, this line's a little bit closer. Uh, Sixers at home, minus six and a half. So the Heat, plus six and a half. I feel like I just don't know enough about the Miami Heat this year to really make a confident bet on that. I suppose you would think, kind of have to go with the hot Sixers, right? At home, playoff game. Even though there's no Joel Embiid, I don't know. Maybe I I might pass on that game. Got to do more research. And then the uh, Pelicans Trailblazers, the late game, ten thirty Eastern, seven thirty on the West Coast. Perfect time for me. It'll be like right around now. Was when that game will start tomorrow. In about 24 hours, we'll be right here, back again together. But this time, watching the Pelicans and Trailblazers start. Trailblazers at home, minus five and a half. Obviously, so that means conversely, the Pelicans are plus five and a half. Of all the four games, all of all the four Saturday games, the Trailblazers are the least favorited favorite. They're still minus 250, but they're the least favorited favorite. Sixers minus 280, Raptors minus 370, and Warriors minus 370. All right, second to last box. I think I gotta go with the Trailblazers minus five and a half. Malcolm Brogdon, orange. Bob McAdoo, red. We pulled the one of one of this guy yesterday, retro. See, this goes to the Clippers, by the way. That owner, Nick Sanderson, may be interested in getting this to complete the rainbow. Uh, that goes to uh, Turner, Madison with that one. 
There's Malcolm Brogdon to 199 for the Bucks. Ali with that one. Tyler Dorsey, rated rookie hollow for the Hawks. Also for Madison. Guesses? Nikola Jokic, 6 out of 79, pink. Velocity. It's got to be Pat now this time, right, David? You've got to speak that into existence. Speak it into existence. Marcin Gortat, there you go, Dave. I like that. There's Markel Fultz, the rookies. Kevin Durant. The Lime Green, Martin Gortat for David Shaw. Out of 175. 23, Jordan out of 175. It's going to be... Bam! Bam! <laughs> Bam out of bio. I guessed it. That goes to Dylan and the Heat. Bam. Bam out of bio. All right. Last box. Good luck, everybody. Jaden, what's going on? So I guess at the end, end of the day... I would I would lean with the uh, with the Trailblazers minus five and a half. I think they just got too much firepower in the end. The Pelicans just gonna run out of steam. That's just what I think. That's that's my belief. All right, good luck everybody. Last box, last autograph, and last chance. Some parallels. What's great about basketball, of course, is that. Um, even some of the parallels that are like out of 99, if you get the right rookie, they could a lot of times they could cover a spot. That's how crazy this stuff is. We've got another full case pick your team on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Be sure to check that out. That is our last case. That's it. We also have two more four box random team breaks of Optic Basketball. So if you want to go a little random, you can go with that. Those are quick four box breaks. They don't take very long. These are very fun. Low risk, high reward. You get randomized one of the big teams for like 17 bucks or something like that. So check that out. That's on jazbeeshobbyland.com. And all of that basketball, including Spectra 16-17, so last year's Spectra basketball, all of that part of our NBA playoff promo on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Go to the website, click the link, and that'll give you all the details um, on the promo, what breaks we need to fill, and what potential prizes you could get. Some nice prizes there too, including some uh, some sealed boxes of cards were given away as prizes too, so check that out. All right, good luck boys and girls. Thank you very much for the fill, and I appreciate the conversation too. So I know it's a longer break, but all, all that chatter helps this break go, go by faster, not only for me, but for for those of you watching too. So thanks. Rudy Gay, Pink Velocity, 59 out of 79. We've got Ivan Rab, Hollow, Blake Griffin, Clippers Edition, Orange. Out of 199. Ivan Rab for the Grizz. Lime Green, Andre Iguodala. Out of 175, that'll go to James. Green, Lime Green, Clyde the Glide Drexler. Retro Series, love these Retro Series cards. Out of 175, that'll go to Karen and the Trailblazers. What's our final autograph going to be? Behind Tony Bradley is Sterling Brown. Rated Rookie, Hollow, on-card autograph for Ellie and the Bucks. 
couple Sterling Brown autographs for her. You might see him in action, I think, in the playoffs. I think he gets minutes, right? All right, the last bit. Let's see what we got. Uh, and that's it. Julius Randle at the end. There you go. Any randomizers? No, nothing. Clean break. Pick your team six in the books. Pick your team seven in the store. Check it out. That's our last case of optic basketball, so check all that out on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.